party all day every weekend make it boom boom today. today's video i am really excited to be sharing this style with you guys today we are trying out a new hair glue and this glue is for anyone that loves their day-to-day -day wear but do not want to lose their edges they want it to be easy to remove and get them through their day so so if you're wondering about today's wig install, I will put all the information down below in the description box, but we are installing a clear lace today. This is a Swiss lace, a 13 by six body wave texture, and this wig is ready to go. So we're going to go ahead and pin that hairline back out, out of the way so that we can jump right into this install. Just a quick tip before we do any install, I always like to take the strap that's in the back of my wig and tighten it up. That way when you go to apply your wig, it will not be sliding and moving all over your head. So try that. Let's jump right into this glue. So let me show you guys the glue that we're going to be working with today. It is from HD Glue. This is their Melt Magic Glue. It's supposed to hold for at least a week or it can be used for a daily use. This glue is for a glueless install. It gives a temporary hold and it's used for styling your lace wigs as far as the hold or you can use it for styling baby hairs. Today I'm not going to use it for that. We're just going to use it for the install. Now the one thing that caught my attention with this glue is unlike the gels and hairsprays, it's going to give less damage to the hair because of the way it is. Let me explain. As you can see, the consistency of it is like water. It's not like gel. Gel to me is more sticky. This has a water consistency. However, you do apply it the same exact way you would a gel install, which I'm going to show you. But the great thing about this is not only does it get sticky, as you can see, but it easily removes with water. So I know you may be thinking, Marie, I thought we want our wigs to last for a long time when we install it. Well, yes, maybe you do. However, sometimes there's times where you just need to give your hairline a break. And this glue, unlike the hairsprays and unlike the gels, is supposed to be gentle, especially for ladies with lower hairlines. A lot of times the gels and the real adhesives can get stuck in the hair and it's difficult to get out, which can cause breakage. But this, however, removes with water. So in between wearing those harsh glues, you can try something like this so let's jump into the install now me I have a bigger forehead so I have a lot of space to glue down my wigs in front of my hairline so the only problem I have with my glues is going on my sideburn areas that sometimes get caught in the hair there however most of the time my install is on the forehead so you apply three to four layers of this glue you spread it around just like you do the gels um, and then you just let it dry until it's tacky you want to take the lace and then press it and you don't want it to be wet if it's wet it's going to take longer to dry whenever i'm trying a new glue for the first time i always have a difficult time getting my wig positioned right i guess because i'm just trying to get used to my technique with it so i didn't let mine dry as much as it needed to however um i did go back with the dryer so what you see right now is me just working that lace down and making sure to kind of keep the hairs out of the way now with this particular product, you wanna make sure that your forehead area is clean. You don't want any oil or residue around the hairline. You want to also make sure that you let it dry, like I said, so that it's tacky and not wet. It does take a little bit longer to dry than actual gels just because it does have that argan oil. It is a moisture base. Um, however, I'm taking my sleigh band. I'm just gonna tie it down and let it sit for at least 20 minutes. For the first few minutes, you can take a dryer to it to make sure that it cures correctly and then just let it sit for the remainder of that 20 minutes because i don't want to waste my time no So as you can see, some of the hair did get stuck into the actual glue. So what I'm doing is taking my comb and just brushing that hair and making sure that it's dry. I'm gonna go back over it with the dryer. This side right here looks absolutely good. Um, this side did have more hair caught in there. Now reminds you that it does depend on the hairline of the wig. This wig is just a pre-plucked hairline, but if you are using this on one of those new hairline wigs, oh my God, it's going to be amazing. Um, and it's gonna be gentle on that lace also. So that's what I really like that this glue can also be gentle on the lace so that you don't have to worry about rubbing and scrubbing off um, the glue on your lace. 
Cause I don't wanna waste my time, no So yeah, that was a really quick install. I'm going to show you guys what it looked like in natural lighting. And I'm going to tell you my thoughts on this wig and install. go over my thoughts on HD Melt Magic Glue. Now, even though this says that it's a glue, I just want you guys to know that it's definitely not one of those glues that's going to give you that three to four week hold. It's supposed to be more gentle if you are tired of dealing with the hairsprays and you are not getting any luck when it comes to protecting your edges. This particular glue will help to do that. It's infused with argan oil you get a really good amount 30 mls that's 1.6 ounces in this bottle I do find that this is a very very soft hole i feel like my hairline on this side looks really good I glued it down i did have hair stuck into it i tried to prevent it so that's why you want to make sure you push all the hair back before you go to glue down your wig otherwise you will have like the hair stuck into the glue and that's not a good look when you're going for a soft natural hairline look like this wig offers it's not meant for you to go swimming with this this type of glue. It's meant mostly for you to get that daily hold. This type of glue is great for the cooler months. You know we are moving into fall and winter. So for the most part, my wig application feels so comfortable. The length of the hair does not feel like it's pulling on that wig application. It is a 24 inch, so the weight of the hair is definitely good. This is 150% density. I did use about three layers and then I let it dry. Dry time is a bit on the slower side, so you want to make sure it's tacky and not wet and I think that section that I did have a problem with was a little bit wet and that's why I am loving this style it's so gorgeous um, the lace looks good parting you get that good parting so you can kind of part your hair anywhere you want to around wherever the lace is whatever parts you want you can do I wouldn't recommend doing too much pulling on the hairline now if you guys notice I haven't like yank yanked if you want a glue that holds through water sweat and all of that please check out this video they do have another waterproof glue that i have water tested amazing so i will link that here and i will also link these products below in the description box if you guys want to try it out and i will also put a discount code because they did send over a discount code for you guys it will be linked below along with this wig um so yeah you guys can try it out let me know what you think about it and i will see you all back in my next video mm -hmm. oh, oh,